We've all heard stories about your friend's crazy ex making his or her life's awful, but this individual right here put on one of the greatest pound for pound stocking performances I have ever seen. Model Orla Sloan, AKA Devil Baby, that's what she calls herself, admits she used 21 different phone numbers to stalk England soccer star Mason Mount. 21! Yeah, and I know I call a lot of these Muppets lunatics, but this one really is a lunatic. This is the woman he's talking about. Now take a look at this picture, I bet you wouldn't believe me if I told you that these two people are actually the same person. This is the same girl when she was younger. You sure about that? According to her family and friends and the picture, this girl's completely changed because of social media. She just became obsessed with social media and wanted to become famous. One of the first crazy things she did for attention was start stripping in a supermarket and she got banned for life. Now obviously I can't show you the whole thing, but here's a little clip. An old friend of hers said this, she said it's simply extraordinary and quite upsetting what's happened to Orla. She was lovely when she was a girl, very bright and friendly, generally talented. Once she got into her late teens, she seemed to have been seduced by the need for social media attention. It says she grew up with hippie parents and her mother was a Reiki healer. Now I'm not a psychologist, but maybe she was a silent lunatic the whole time, but I'm pretty sure to go from this to this, social media's had a big part to play. And her next step to reaching fame was to start dating footballer Mason Mount. This is Mason Mount. Now it's not clear as to whether Mason Mount dated this woman or just slept with this woman but one thing that is clear and that's that he didn't want to be with this lunatic. And once he told her he didn't want to be with her that's when she started turning crazy and she started stalking him and bombarding him with a bunch of messages. She said in a message you must apologise or you will unlock my new character devil baby. You crazy ass bitch. She also changed her number 21 times when the footballer kept blocking her. Sloan sent Mount a screenshot of her paying $12.99 for a new number from Apple saying I'm not buying food anymore so I can get more numbers. In another text the model laid out a list of women's names she claimed she had found out about. She then chillingly added I will find out everything. Oh hey. No wonder Mason Mount was so shit this season, the guy was fearing for his life. And Mount wasn't the only footballer that was a victim either, his teammate Ben Chilwell was also stalked by this woman. She made an Instagram with the username devilbaby10, she created collages of Chilwell with other women, tagged his family and friends in completely fictitious posts. Nasty bitch. She also targeted ex-Chelsea footballer Billy Gilmore who's now at Brighton and when he went to Brighton she still kept stalking him. This woman's name is Orla Sloan, she's admitted to stalking and harassing Mason Mount between June 19th 2022 to October 28th and Billy Gilmore between September 10th 2022 and October 28th. She also pleaded guilty to harassing Chilwell without violence between October 20th and 29th. The influencer who refused to comment after the case will be sentenced on June 20th and could possibly face jail time. You going to jail? <laughs> You're going again. Joking aside though, I really do think social media has fucked up a lot of people. Like I said, I don't know if she had the potential to be like this before, maybe she was silently a little bit crazy. But I'm almost certain that social media had a massive part to play in this and it does in a lot of young people today. Let the best man win. Alright boys, we're gonna go three rounds for one minute. Sky, remember this is for you. Let's go. Touch gloves, touch gloves. Alright? Go! Alright baby. Oh my god. Oh! What was that? Oh! Oh! Are you okay? Oh! 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 Break it up! Break it up! Your helmet! Your helmet! Whether it's for fun or just for content, I don't care. I'm not fighting over a woman that's paid of hundreds of dicks. You look around, you see a bunch of distractions, right? That's a fact. You see, I'm out here, I'm just vibing. I ain't worried about no females. That's I ain't worried about none of that. I got my own goals going on. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Look at those out there, dodo bird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cole. Do we need men? I don't personally think so. I'm doing fine without them. Do we need men? No. <laughs> Why? We can do things ourselves. Do we need men? I don't think so, not really. Studies have shown you don't actually need them. I think they're great, some of them are great. Sometimes you just don't need them. Yeah, you don't need men, yet most of the things around you were built by men, and most of the things that you use were created by men. Even the shitty social media sites that you visit were created by men. Men build the world that you live in. Oh, okay. Who built that house or apartment you live in? Was it a crew of women? Who designed the who designed the metal work? Who put it in the floor? The plumbing, the the electrical system, the heat. Who put that in? The car you drive. Was that built by a crew of women? So women are not capable of doing none of those. Excuse me, because we're given a choice. Because women are free today, right? Uh huh. 
Hey, why don't we see 51% of the construction workers as women? Why don't we see 51% of the, of the plumbers, electricians, military, train operators? Because when given an opportunity, women segregate themselves into more comfortable positions. Ding, ding, ding. They do the dangerous work. That's why I don't do breaks. And every relationship that I was in, whenever it was time to like take a break, I was yeah. like, nah, I'm like, we either break up or we, or we fix it. Yeah, I'm not yeah, going to yeah. take a, a break to do what? I'll go stay at my, my parents, at my brothers, at someone else's crib for a yeah. bit. And we could still talk. What, what do you want to break for? What is that going to solve? Oh, I'm, I, I want to break. By the way, I'm going on a trip. Oh, Miami. Oh, spring break. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, about that. Drama. <laughs> yeah, not always, but let's be honest. Sometimes a girl will say she wants a break just because she wants to explore other options and see what else is out there. And then if it doesn't work out, she might come running back. And even if it's not for that, if you're not able to communicate and talk about things together. <laughs> see ya. Men are like cars. The first car you ever have trash you can hurt you worried about us and they on twitter saying you look like him leave us alone <laughs> how much would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten i personally would rate myself a ten i think i'm a ten um because i really think i'm pretty i think i'm a ten right. i know i'm a ten i'm confident that i'm a ten i'm uh. not a ten Good for you. I'm a 10. Good I'm fat, but I'm Looks a 10. Looks-wise, I'm probably like a 6. Personality-wise, 10. Oh, I'm going to go low. I'll go 2. I don't give a 10. 11. I would say I'm an 8. Solid. 10. You gotta believe in yourself. 10. I know, like, if I'm being honest, I think I'm an 8. 10. Aww. 10. 10. Without a question. No, be a mess, babe. Broke my scale. Broke my Scale. I actually agree with her. A lot of them did break the scale, but not the look scale, the fucking weight scale. Some of these women need to take a long, hard look in the mirror, bruv, and they're gonna get a serious reality shock in about 10 years when they realize they're not tens, they can't get guys that they want, and they're completely delusional. If you're talking to someone you like and the feelings just don't seem to be reciprocated, like they're not even giving you common courtesy, at that point, it's just a delusion ship. It's no longer a situation ship, and it's time to jump ship. All right? You're welcome. <laughs> Man, can you believe this? It's so easy to call people racist for no reason at all. The low ratings is because the documentary sucked. And it isn't racist to point out a historical inaccuracy in a production that is portrayed to be a documentary. If anything, this documentary is racist. You cannot take a historical figure and then claim them as your own because you got wishful thinking. Go find another hero for the black community. Don't go out and steal a historical figure. And I know you're all on the black girl magic, but you portray Cleopatra as some kind of warrior queen and brilliant strategist, which she's not. Well, no wonder this shit was a shambles when you got this donut behind it. There's only one place Jada Pinkett Smith will ever belong. She belongs to the streets.